Okay, now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a very quick look. We'll just save this map as tutorial. We'll save that map as tutorial. And we'll open a map that is already built in Alien Arena. And we've got the source for it here. We'll use uh, Titan 2K8. Now, there's loads of examples in Titan of transparent textures and things of the sort. Like you can see these uh, lights, or lo what looks like you know just uh, gradient boxes they're actually covering lights as you can see there and what these will do is they'll give the effect that the light is fading out you know it's bright and then it sort of fades away in a nice drop down beam very useful to use um, and you'll see here these wires they've got like a black box right the way around them well at compile time and play time these will not actually you won't see this black you'll just see these wires hanging around and we'll look at how that's done now we'll shift click into the uh, the brush and we'll press S for the surface inspector and we can see already in the surface inspector we've got some things ticked we've got trans 66 checked and missed now as I say the missed one as I said earlier on allows players to pass through this as if it's not a solid object and the trans 66 will set a certain transparency now it will vary um, from item to item like we can see here it's using trans 33 rather than 66 that's because we want it to be semi-transparent and the 66 again semi-transparent but it's all dependent on the alpha channels in the JPEG uh, sorry the, the texture TGA so if you see some type of wires like this or anything you want to use in Alien Arena that has got a black background chances are it's going to be a transparent texture and you want to use trans 66 and we'll just go and have a look at another example over here these wires that will hang down you can pass through them because it's got trans 33 set and it's got the auxiliary uh, texture set as well at uh, the auxiliary flag now again the see the way the transparency flag has changed from this brush to this brush around here it all depends if you put it in and it doesn't look right it's gonna be the other one that is basically the way to do it go through and just test and see what's going on and see these again here um, look at that we've got trans 33 set and that's because they're covering some type of spotlight and you want to be able to see a sort of light beam effect coming from them spotlights and again we've got the mist flag checked this time to say that this can be passed through by players okay that's really basically it for transparency I'll just show you one more very quickly we've got these windows here now uh, we can see the windows have this uh, blue and black texture we've got some over there as well um, we'll select one of these very quickly and we'll press the S for the surface inspector again it's got trans 66 set and you can actually see through this um, when you're playing at game time you can see through there and you can see through these ones over here as well so you've got a, a complete line of sight from that window to that window and you'll see that this whole level as well is surrounded by a huge box I'll explain about that in the next video but that was basically it for transparency uh, and things like that you'll notice in the texture browser if you ever bring that up the certain textures that will have um, that you know should be transparent uh, for example this one here black trans that's completely transparent you won't be able to see that at game time if you set the correct flags there's also uh, sets of glass and things like this that will appear to be transparent in game but that just get used to playing with them and having a look around and seeing what you can do with your transparency because it's one of the tools that you're gonna need to be able to use to add atmosphere to your level right join me in the next video and i'll be talking about skyboxes thanks for watching